take control. I'm looking at all this shit. Um, the, um, actually he's made it a little easier because I don't have to get to um, gatekeepers, etc. but I got to whoever that was. And I'm there uh, in some place and wherever they have breweries. And um, the, uh, they're gonna come out and meet me in the, in the foyer, hi. Uh, Mr. Jones is, uh, will be with you in a minute. I say, thank you very much, blah, blah, blah. They bring me into a, a boardroom if they have one or his office. Um, and the, um, and he goes through the, the very pre preliminary uh, formalities. Now, all the way into the building, I'm looking at everything on every, on all the walls. Okay. Does he have little league pictures? Does he have army pictures? Does he have skiing pictures? Does he have pictures of old people and young people? Old people probably are his parents. Does he have pictures of his kids? I'm scanning all this and I'm and and I'm I'm putting it in my data bank. I'm looking at does he have antique furniture? Does he have uh, new furniture? Is he have a is it a Kia? Kia makes modern furniture. Yeah. So what what is it? Does he have linoleum on the floor? Does he have carpet on the floor? Does he have modern lights? Uh, does he have um, energy lights, saving lights, okay? Or does he just have like, I, you know, old fucking things that suck up energy? Does he have solar panels on the building? I'm looking at all this shit. And now you can see this shit on Google Earth. Uh, you can put an address in, you can get a lot of information. Is he leasing the building? Is he own it? If he owns it, how you, you will have gotten this information before you got there. How long has he owned it? How old is the brewery? How is the brewery? In certain parts of the world, you can figure out, you can find out, you know, uh, the uh, is it a, uh, a C Corp? Is it an LLC? Litigation. How much litigation do they have? Do they have any litigation? You know, if they had litigation, did they win? Did uh, who, who represented him in the litigation? Was it uh, Joe Schmaltz from Eureka? Uh, uh, you know, Esquire, uh, who's getting ready to be disbarred? Or is it uh, Sussman Godfrey, uh, the, the, the king toppler, Steve Sussman? Who are their accountants? If you got introduced by accountants, you know who their accountants are. So you ask the accountants, who are their lawyers? Their regular lawyers, not just their litigation lawyers. So by the time I go in, I know what hand he wipes his ass with. And now it is easy because of the internet. It's easy. Okay, now I'm walking down the hall. I'm looking for these pictures, awards. He's got the Brewer of the Year in 2011, 12, which is also on the internet. Uh, so they bring me into his, uh, his boardroom. I see he's got a boardroom, a small boardroom. I'm looking again, that they'll have shit on the walls. Do they have real art or pretend art? You know, is it art deco? I mean, all this stuff means something. Now, uh, the, uh, and then so, uh, you know, is it real China? They serve you coffee in, or is it, you know, plastic cups? Or, or the spoon that you put you know, the sugar lump with? Is that silver, aluminum, or aluminum, as they say here? What is it? Okay, is, uh, are the people in the office dressed in jeans uh, and t-shirts, or do they have uh, the, the, the women, do they have the skirts or little business suits or whatever? Um, all this means something where he's coming from, okay? Part of the background that I'd look up is, is the owner or, or are the owners, uh, do they uh, come up the brewery ladder? In other words, do they work in breweries, yada, yada? Or is this a uh, an accountant uh, that decided uh, in retirement from PwC, he's going to uh, buy a brewery because he always wanted a brewery. And there's some of those guys. What kind of cars are in the parking lot? Are there four wheel drive with a 3030 in the back of window? You know, and believe me, in parts of the country, that is exactly what they have. You know, now you get in trouble doing this, but I used to check to see if they locked the cars. But I mean, you, you, you get in trouble now because people think you're gonna steal or some shit, but I used to check to see if they locked the cars. Because if they don't lock the truck and there's a 3030 rifle in the fucking back window, the, the, their idea about uh, law enforcement it's up, is different, okay? Um, the, um, I try to find out um, uh, where he lives in relationship to his brewery. Does he live in you know, a fancy area or does he live in a working class area? Okay, so now I'm in and he's there and I've assimilated all this information. Uh, is he on time or does he keep, you know, does the pecker head keep me waiting? Um, and I'm, I, I'm, cut, no, I'm not dressed the part now. But I would be in my uniform, my business uniform, you know, and I'm wearing a suit and I always wear a three piece suit. So that's not different for me. You wear a two piece suit or whatever. So I wouldn't be dressed up like Santa Claus like I am today. Um, is he lit? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I've done this a lot of times all over the world. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be a meeting. Oh, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Oh, that's all right. You know, and I always say, oh, I understand. 
I really don't, but I say I understand. Uh, how does he shake hands? Like a couple of you shake hands. Give me your hand, let me your hand. Vincent, okay. Some of you learned, took a, 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 a class where you, you somehow try to get a bigger grip. I don't know who the fuck ever taught you to do that. Uh, but I mean, um, does it shake hard? Uh, does it, it's just a firm shake? Uh, the, the ones that kill me are the women that try to give a man shake. I, I, what I want to do is just slap them, you know? <laughs> Is that, a, is that a class? I mean, they teach you how to do uh, Why the fuck would you do that, you know? Pardon? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I, I didn't think of that. Um, the, uh, because I think, I don't think, I know women have an advantage in this. It's just got a flat fucking advantage. Professionally, they don't have to, you know, uh, it's not sexual or anything. They have an advantage. Because most men underestimate women. They don't think they're as smart, whatever, wrongfully. And so uh, if I was a reasonably good looking woman, I'd take advantage of that. Even if you're an ugly hag, you know, you got an advantage. Now, if you weigh 700 pounds, and you got a big wart on the side of your face, you know, and you look like, now you don't have an advantage. <coughs> okay, you don't. Um, and your daddy may have left you the brewery. Okay, so you, how do they shake hands? Uh, so he's, he's on time and he said, um, does he sit down or does he ask you, please be seated? If, if, he, if, you're, if you're going into a boardroom, always sit with your back towards the window. If the boardroom was this way, I'd sit with that window at my back. Why? No. Why do you think guns, gunfighters entered the street with the, the, the sun at their back? Correct. So with the boys, I'd be sitting like this, facing this way. And sit at the head of the table. Take control. And then when the guns start, bam, 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 he can't get because of the light in his eye. But anyway, now that doesn't happen anymore. Those are the good old days. Those are the good old days. So, um... The, uh, and you come and they say, okay, uh, uh, Mr. Jones, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, you got a, you got, you got a very nice operation. I got here a few minutes early. I drove around. What you do, you get there a few minutes early and you drive fucking around. And if you got a meeting uh, in the morning and you're flying, get there the day before. I mean, uh, when people used to say, well, I missed my plane or they canceled the plane, I didn't, I didn't want to talk to them. Fuck. But you should have come early, asshole. You should have come early. Okay, so I've got a nice operation and you know, I see the fence goes out. I mean, there's all, all these 20, 30 acres yours or just, and he'll be proud as punch to tell you. Um, the, um, and now, I, do breweries have security? What, we've got security, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I make a little joke, you know, uh, are, you, uh, are you guarding the patents or the this and that? Or, you know, bullshit, bullshit. Um, you sit down, thank you very much. Um, the, uh, uh, I, I sent you uh, some preliminary information. Uh, I sent it early, in fact, we talked to your assistant and she said that she wasn't positive um, if uh, you had time to read it, but it's just a short executive summary and it says uh, who we are, um, uh, who's part of the investment group, investment group, investment group, uh, and um, our experience in the uh, brewery business. Um, a good portion of our experience comes from big breweries, you know, the guys that you're taking market share away, ha ha ha, away from. And uh, we have uh, really uh, just a, a minimal amount of experience in the micro business. And that's what we're trying to expand into with our investment group. And uh, the, um, and um, are there any questions on anything that you, you, if you had time to read it? If not, I can just give you a two minute short um, synopsis. Now, if he did read it, uh, he may say, no, no, I, I pretty much understand. You got a very impressive board a group. I mean, uh, 116 years or whatever it is of experience. Uh, I, I, in fact, uh, well, they may know somebody. But you get through that, that bullshit. And um, we're... Um, we want to acquire uh, microbreweries in the northeastern, western United States, wherever it is. Wherever he is, that's where you want to acquire. That make a shit where it is. It's in, you know, Peckerhead, fucking Kansas. That's where. Okay, because you're there, right? Um, and um, the uh, and if there's any lull in the conversation, which there normally would. Oh, I see that you were at uh, Machu Picchu, I like the picture back there with David. Machu Picchu, which is in Peru. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't give a fuck if it's whatever it is. You see that. Uh, he's, oh, yeah, I yeah, went there for our 40th wedding anniversary, whatever the fuck it was. Okay. Um, the, um, um, uh, we, uh, the, the numbers that are in the public domain. And you always, when you say that you're going to know something about his business, it's because it was in the public domain, not because somebody stole it and gave it to you. Most of the guys that own these companies don't know what's in the fucking public domain or if it's not in the public domain. Oh, I see that, you know, you've uh, been having accelerated growth the last three or four years. That's exactly what we're looking for. Um, and uh, we would be very interested uh, to talk about uh, taking a position. 
You don't say uh, sell out a majority, you just say take a position. That's how you start the conversation. And they'll either say, well, we have really haven't thought about it, which is a fucking lie. But anyway, we really hadn't thought about it. And you know, it's, uh, you know, everybody wants, uh, and if he's, he says, you know, we, we, we have four or five more years of growth built in. And I say, I understand that. Uh, but you know, uh, the, uh, the, even, uh, even the most uh, remote sales starts with a conversation. I used to say that people like that. Even though it was against my personality, even the most remote possibility of a, of a, a divestiture, because some of these guys don't like the word sale. Even the most remote possibility about a divestiture, I know that's a big word for some of you guys, and especially the YouTube fuck, uh, starts with a, uh, a first conversation, okay? So, so far you've done, they think you're a professional. You trick fucked them, you trick fucked them in a professional way. And then he'll he'll talk or he won't talk depending on where he really is. Or if like most people, he's gotta think, you gotta think about it because most people can't think that quickly on their feet. That's why it's better if you can uh, verify that they read the fucking executive summary you said. And let me back up. Before the meeting, I'd have Tim or not Tim, but some whoever I had at that time call uh, to say, you know, uh, uh, email it to the assistant and say, you know, could you, you know, could you ensure that maybe put it on uh, the top of his uh, reading file, a reading pile or whatever it is. And, um, and uh, one assistant to another assistant, we'll get some, um, uh, we'll get some results. Uh, we've, we've got kids that actually go by, depending on where they are, and actually hand carry it. And like in the uh, Wall Street, the movie, cigars, can all that shit works. I still don't understand why, because it's not my personality but it does work. That's how you get in, because he, he gave me the entree that he was already had an appointment. And all that should take no more than 15 minutes, maximum. Unless, like the guys on the phone the last couple of days, by some stroke of irony, you happen to know everybody that ever helped him in life. And But if, it, if you do, then milk it, milk them until the legs fall, until the udders fall out off the, the cow. And, uh, and once in a while that'll happen. Or once in a while you'll have a director that knows the guy from when he's at, he's at Anheuser-Busch or some crap like that. Um, and uh, we use everything that's legitimate, that's legitimate. And then sometimes like um, Dennis Emir, the Babson guy, who's probably the Babson uh, graduate school is probably as good got one of the top 10 uh, alumni uh, for business schools in America. I mean, uh, the people that, uh, that uh, come out of that uh, school, I mean, he's got a fucking gigantic amount of people to call. Um, and so, uh, and then, then he, you know, it, it, it's easier, you know, or your daddies went to school together, you went to the same school and all that shit worked. And uh, if you have it, use it. But it's not necessary. It's not necessary. You know, the, 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 some of the guys up there, you know, uh, didn't go to any place. And, uh, and some of them went to Harvard, you know. Uh, some of them have no degrees and some of them are, are PhDs, you know. Uh, so that, that, that part doesn't matter. So don't be intimidated by that. And the, the problem with um, LinkedIn, I think it's 99% great vehicle. But the problem is I see from you kids is when you when you find a guy that, or a gal that fits your parameters, you get too awestruck by their fucking resume. Just remember, they wouldn't have their fucking name in there if they didn't want another job. If they didn't want a directorship, they wouldn't be there. You don't just, I know guys, my contemporaries, that they, they wouldn't touch LinkedIn with a barge pole, as they say in this country. A fuck, what do I want that shit for? Fucking morons contacting me. So they, you know, you're on Madison Avenue and she's wearing uh, a skirt up to here and it's uh, four below zero. She's there for a reason. It's not to make small talk. So everybody on LinkedIn, you know, and um, is there for a reason. Um, so, um, so don't be so awestruck for, uh, for, uh, by their, their resumes. Uh, I spot check the resumes or I don't anymore, but I used to spot check them. Uh, you know, the easiest place to spot check, uh, the guy supposedly went, got an MBA at Columbia. I mean, it takes five minutes. Uh, talk, uh, checking on uh, Sam Jones, uh, Graduate School of Business, uh, MBA, Columbia, 61, or whatever the year is. And if, if that's a no, neck, neck, that's it. There is, uh, now if, it, if it's really 62 instead of 61, I mean, some bullshit, that's okay. But I mean, no, we never heard him. Uh, or her, then it's neck. And, um, and the same thing, uh, well, they don't normally list if they got uh, sanctioned by the Security Exchange Commission on their uh, LinkedIn. But after talking to them, like Cures had a couple, where they got in trouble and, but I wasn't in, I wasn't named in the indictment next. I wasn't named in the indictment. That means he had a good lawyer that copped the plea that he wasn't named in the indictment. That's all that means. I wasn't named in the, I forget how you phrase it to me, Kira, but 
uh, then next. He's big hitter. Next. And then normally that person has already referred three people to you. One of which might be the accountants. And you know, he, he only missed jail by the skin of his ass like weed man. You know, he happened to uh, get out the alley and, you know, jump on his motorcycle and head off into the weeds, you know, ahead of the law. So next, I mean, there's too many people on there. You know, I, I haven't done this in maybe a year, but I printed out pharmaceuticals. What did I put? Because I wanted to see what Aria, you know, I put it out and I had, you know, 600 people or 508. I mean, uh, I didn't refine the search. I didn't go through it. But I mean, there's a lot of people and you put in oil and gas. I mean, there's a gazillion, there's a gazillion. There's no reason to find a shortage of people for your dream team. And again, the most important is chairman. So we're, the guy, so I'm back with a guy in his room and uh, the uh, and guys that have built these things up with their uh, own hands and, you know, uh, sweat of their brow are proud of them, you know. Um, and some of them really do want the purchaser uh, or acquirer to take care of, etc. But my experience is when, if they want that, it's up to a limit based on who's getting the money for the company. They may want you to keep them on and not fire them, but they're not gonna give them one quarter, not one centavo of the sales price. Not one, not one motherfucking penny of the sales. And it's the whole difference between the QLA model and everybody else. The QLA model is from the chairman down to the guy that sweeps the floor, gets money, gets money. And I've seen acquisitions that they forgot the previous owner in the first week because now they got options in the new deal. They couldn't remember the asshole's name because uh, money talks and bullshit walk. And, you, and if there's any, uh, if there's a potential to make these people better off than they are, not even wealthy. I mean, I'm talking about the lower people. I mean, they appreciate that. You know, uh, uh, both Clinton and Trump are saying that, um, uh, or Trump is, Clinton's not is saying uh, something to the effect that uh, the um, GDP is growing at 1% or less in the last 10 years and that this is the worst GDP growth since the late 40s, which I think is, is true. Federal Reserve and a few other people have said and this is in the United States. And that their, the average uh, wage is the same as it was in 1983 or 1988 or something. So that means there's been relatively no growth or zero growth. And in some parts of the United States, zero, I mean, negative growth. And so when you step into an organization that's got 500 employees or whatever, if that's what they, they're used to, you're looking to anything that's in that upside. And a lot of the people that you're in this business or in any business that you're gonna go and look to acquire are just happy at with a $10 million brewery, you know, making a certain amount of money and feeding all his personal expenses through the business, which is the way it goes. And um, and that's, they're just happy with that. Okay, so now he says, well, um, you know, I have to think about it. And uh, he may say he wants to talk to his wife. He may uh, want to say he wants to uh, talk to his uh, fellow board members. If he has an ESOP, which is an employee stock option plan with his employees, you know, I'd have to talk to the uh, ESOP um, uh, represent representative, which are all legit, okay? If he says shit like that, that's positive, that's positive. And um, and that's about all you can accomplish on that first meeting. Okay, you don't you don't uh, get out your uh, agenda and read. Are you going to take uh, you know uh, back such and such? You want to know if they're now he's you, the fact that he's seen you is that he's open to the idea. Uh, now when there's a second meeting, then he's he's, he's not over only open to the idea, he's thought about, you know, what can I sell this hog for? And um, that's when you really, then you put start putting on the harder press. So I'm gonna go to that meeting. There's a next meeting. No, no, and I'll say, no, because you will have asked him some questions. He said he's gonna have to, you know, get the information. I said, you know, I, I prefer one-on-one. -on -one. You know, I, I'm, I'm back in the Northeastern United States in three weeks, uh, or I'm here looking at opportunities for the next two weeks, I can be back next week. You want him to know that you're looking at other opportunities, other opportunities. He may say, well, I mean, who else are you talking to? I said, well, that's confidential, you know. You know, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't tell, uh, be telling people that I'm here. So I, I'm sure you can appreciate that um, I can't, uh, I won't tell you. Um, and uh, you get back to him anyway, absolutely, you know. So now it's a week, 10 days later, you haven't heard from him. Hi, right, Mr. Jones, and now the receptionist will put you through because you gave her a card or some bullshit. Uh, and uh, and hi, this is uh, uh, this is uh, Johnny Peckerwood. Uh, you know, uh, we met ten days ago. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the uh, you know, I'm 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 back in the Northeast. We're looking at a lot of opportunities. 
I, I'd love to come back and uh, visit with you uh, to see, uh, you know, have, uh, what, what thought you've given it. Now, if, they, if they've given no thought or they're not interested, there won't be a second meeting. There won't be. If they have given a thought, uh, they'll say yes. And they, oh, uh, yeah, you were going to touch base with the ESOP representative, uh, you think, you, you know, and, and he'll say, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll, let, I'll tell you what uh, that, that happened. When, or what the result of that was uh, when I see you. And then he may, you know, ask you to come to lunch, yada, yada. And then, um, if, although I don't like lunch and breakfast meetings because I think they're a waste of time. If they want you to come to lunch, then, you know, uh, you know, um, then you go, you go, you go. Now, um, depending on your own presentation skills and depending on your own ability, how numerate you are, uh, numbers wise, you know, see, Alex can go to these meetings on his own because he, you know, he knows uh, uh, who's uh, who's on first. Some of you that can't spell numbers uh, should bring a director along, preferably your CFO, your CFO and or industry expert. You, you need somebody that knows how to talk turkey. Um, not turkey meaning uh, about the, the industry, the deal. And if you got a guy that was at Anheuser-Busch with him 18 years before, whenever, that's the guy you bring. Whether he's the numbers guy, in, you know, he would be an industry expert because he was at the brewery with him. Um, that's the guy you drag along because all of a sudden it's just like that guy I talked to. I, I I really wasn't leaning that way, but now I feel at home and blah blah blah. blah. And uh, so now you're back. Same boat, you know. Got, come the day before, same thing, same thing. Uh, and have your little speech uh, uh, ironed out with uh, your guy that you're bringing or gal, whoever it is. And you come in, you come in early, same thing again. And uh, the uh, and he may or may not have somebody there. If he's an iron-fisted guy, he started the company, he owns all the stock, there may be nobody there. Because he's used to, for all these years, making his own decisions. He's not interested in anybody's fucking opinion. There's plenty of those guys. Uh, and uh, and if you bring, when you bring somebody that from Anheuser-Busch or whatever, I mean, the conversation will take on a new life, and just like the conversations I had. And then you just sit back and keep your fucking mouth shut and keep your agendas uh, up your skirt and don't show anybody. Um, and then there'll be a lull in the conversations. Oh, God, I'm glad you guys got along. You know each other. Uh, you know, uh, what, what are your feelings? And then it'll start unpeeling like a like an onion. Well, we might consider a minority steak, yada, yada. Well, we might live with that. What do you, what do you have in mind? And pro probably at the same time, well, let me show you around, you know? And I've, I've looked at, bre I didn't look at any micro breweries. I looked at big breweries, big fuckers. And I mean, and, um, and when I was going to university, uh, Anheuser-Busch, they stopped this because of uh, student violence, but the, uh, they used to open up the breweries Friday afternoon from two till seven and you could go on tours of the breweries and get free beer.